Greetings. Welcome to this session. In this video, we'll be looking at question 11, which reads, if u is a unitary matrix, show that the absolute value of the determinant of u will be equal to 1. Then they remind you of a couple of things, like that your u transpose conjugated multiplied by u will give us the identity matrix. Then they further tell us that take the determinants of both sides, noting that that is equal to that, and they ask us why. So there's a couple of things which I need you to remember from first principles or first year. So I need you to remember that the determinant of a matrix A times B is the same as the determinant of matrix A multiplied by the determinant of matrix B. What I also need you to note or to remember is that the determinant of A is the same as the determinant of its transpose. Because all what you are doing, you are just changing the rows to columns. So that, that, that does not change anything. So which means when I look at my matrix, which is unitary, I know that my U transpose conjugated multiplied by U should give me IN, which is the identity matrix. And before we even go further, I need to remind you that the determinant of the identity matrix is actually 1. So I need you to remember that the determinant of IN is 1. So we'll take the determinant of the left hand side, which is U, conjugated transpose multiplied by U. This will be equal to the determinant of the right hand side, which is I n. So what you should be able to see is that the left hand side can be split into the determinant of u conjugated transpose multiplied by the determinant of u. And this will be equal to 1 because the determinant of I n is 1. However, what I know is that the conjugation sign I can put it outside. So I can actually have the determinant of u transpose conjugated like that multiplied by the determinant of u and this should be equal to 1 but I know that the determinant of u is the same or the determinant of u transpose is the same as the determinant of u so if you look carefully what I now have is the determinant of u transpose multiplied by the determinant of u and this should be equal to 1. So there's something which is important to note which is that the determinant so we determinant or let's just go straight and say the determinant of u can be complex Or rather, let me say it can be a complex number. So now when we look at what is going on there, is we actually have the conjugate of the determinant of u multiplied by the determinant of u. And this should be equal to 1. Then there's something which I need you to, to remember. which is that if you find yourselves in a position where you are multiplying a complex number with its conjugate, the answer simply becomes the absolute value of that complex number squared, which means our right hand side there will just be the determinant of u all squared because these ones here are complex conjugates. Let me push them here 
So if we look at these two, these are complex conjugates. So this and that, those are complex conjugates. So that's why we therefore have the absolute value of the determinant equaling our 1. So if you look carefully, we can take the square root. So we can take the square root and see that the determinant of u will simply be plus or minus the square root of 1. So therefore we have showed that one of the solutions for the determinant of u will be one so that is what they wanted us to be able to do let us jump to the second part of the question which if you look carefully is roman figure two we are required to show the two by two rotation matrix that it has a determinant of positive one so something i need you to quickly remember is that if we have a matrix a b c and d the determinant of matrix A is simply AD minus the other way around, which is going to be BC. So if I take that matrix and make it to be U, we have cos of alpha, sine of alpha, negative sine of alpha and cos of alpha, you will see that our determinant of u will be cos alpha multiplied by cos alpha minus sine alpha multiplied by negative sine alpha. So you will see that we have cos squared alpha plus sine squared alpha, which by now, you should know that that identity gives us positive 1. So that is Roman figure 2. So let's go to Roman figure 3. Where we are given that our u is cos of alpha and then sine of alpha sine of alpha minus cos of alpha so the determinant of u will be cos of alpha multiplied by negative cos of alpha minus sine of alpha multiplied by sine of alpha so if you look carefully the determinant of u will be negative cos of alpha squared minus negative sine of alpha squared or minus sine alpha squared. So if you look carefully, we have a negative one that you can pull out and we can have cos squared alpha plus sine squared alpha like that. So you will see that the determinant of u will be negative one for this problem.